All right, hey, 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 good people. It's your girl Ashes the Rebirth. So we're gonna do a quick read today, okay? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I was gonna do divine masculine, divine feminine. Uh, now that I'm on here, I don't know if I want to say that later and do something else or not. But while I'm figuring that out real quick, welcome, welcome to those of you who are new to the channel, okay? I see we do have uh, some new subscribers and things, so I want y'all to feel love. I want y'all to um, be on one accord with the fan bam, okay? Because maybe we didn't know each other last year, a month ago, or two weeks ago, but guess what? It doesn't mean that you weren't already family, meaning you're already on the healing journey for yourself, right? You already getting in tune to what's important and relevant to you and in your life, right? So we've been a part of family one to another just possibly in a different format right spirit said wake a thing up oh i feel real soul activation yeah, she going long time, okay? Um, yeah, we gotta get into it. Okay, we are. We're gonna see uh this is divine feminine energy for whatever reason. The two are not wanting to speak together. Like I was gonna do like one side divine masculine, one side divine feminine, and I felt like I should do that tonight, so I just very well may. Um, but for right now we'll do them separately because that's what I feel led to do. So um we'll do divine feminine right now because <laughs> It's Divine Feminine cards that are speaking to come out right now. So we got Long Bubby Susie here. Okay. We got Long Bubby Susie. Y'all can already see 19, so you already know what it's getting ready to be. We talking about shame, but we're talking about the number 10, which is a new beginning of something, right? Um, she's kind of taking a hold to herself, right? Like, I'm getting real feels of this that she's working on root chakra, right? But I mean like the base of herself, which we've been talking about a lot with divine feminine energy because we've been talking about the divine masculine pairing up to make a space conducive so that the divine feminine can be here. See the, all this fire and light behind her? This is so that you can really activate exactly who you are, right? I'm hearing like all the pieces of who you are, meaning no shame around here, spirit is saying. Divine feminine energy needs to be aware that working on your root chakra and everything that comes from there, we're talking about self-pleasure and not in a sense of playing with yourself, right? That's up to you. But y'all know sexual energy or whatever energy runs into this because when you were talking about soulmate, when you were talking about the second or the first chakra, I mean, it is going to involve your natural body part. So sexuality is definitely a part of like your your second chakra it's definitely a part of your root chakra because sometimes that's where your second chakra gets fucked up because of what has happened in the foundational kind of stages of you yeah so spirit is speaking to a divine feminine right now that needs to gird your loins and know like yeah this journey for you carries no shame right because in order to journey and really amount to anything you had to live some type of way yeah and that's even for men who are dealing with your divine feminine energy, meaning you might be a man who has trouble rightfully showing your emotions. That's how you'll have a meter of how tapped into your own divine feminine energy you are as a man, right? Or let's say this divine feminine energy speaking to a man who uh, maybe you've been emasculated by a lot of women. So your idea of women um, or the idea of... Uh, you know how you how you act and react to them is based on the women who were too masculated, you know, uh, in their energy around you. So, you know, and we're talking women who raised you, women who you've dated, women who you've been committed to, women that you've laid down with and you might not even really know, but you was fucking. And so when you make the exchange, hello, somebody, you already know what it's hitting for. So those men who have trouble, if you wanted a scale of if you're in tune with your divine feminine, how tapped in are you to your emotions? How tapped in are you to intuition? How how tapped into you uh, to yourself with your own emotions? Or do you feel like if you have to express them that you some type chump? You know what I mean? Like what are the things that have been spoken to you that have emasculated you or kept you out of touch with the balance of yourself, which is divine feminine energy, yeah? There is no shame here. We're talking self-pleasure, meaning I've made a space conducive for a new beginning for you, a full fulfillment so that from the root of yourself we talked about kundalini arising okay go look it up 
Ask your spirit team about it. Ask your own womb about it. Your own root chakra about it, somebody. This is about self-pleasure really in the sense of taking time to recognize what is good for me. And there is no shame in that. Hello? I feel like I'm knocking on somebody's doorbell. And I'm knocking on your door and you're not letting me in. Somebody needs to hear what thus saith spirit. It ain't no shame around here say spirit. Some divine feminine or some man is sitting around feeling uh, out of tune with your divine feminine energy, number one, and feeling shame about whatever it is that you have, um, feeling shame about whatever it is that you have gone through, done, or what have you. Spirit says, pick up all the green cards. We talking heart chakra. Somebody been some type damaged some kind of way. That's just got green on it. And spirit said, go for it. I got to go for what spirit said. All right. So the green and then those, um, the rest of these, y'all can go back. I appreciate you. Okay, so we're going to see what these green ones are talking about first because these are the ones that Spirit um, pressed first. I feel like this will need to go first for some reason. And you down here right underneath Shane, so you might be carrying some. Come through, Spirit. I don't know if y'all been here a long time or a little while, but if you go back to the very beginning, like a couple years ago, yeah, we used to always have a, 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 a spread that Spirit would do, and it would always be a pillar card which would be the focus, right? And then we would always have the heart chakra card and then we would have the two cards alongside it, which Spirit had told me in that spread was to be the guards of the heart. So we would have, we, it was when we was only using, the only deck I had was the OG deck back then, okay? I mean, if y'all been here a long time, you know what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, we've got a pillar card or maybe this is the pillar. I know as Spirit directs me because we don't have a grounding place, but it used to come out that way. It would be like six card, seven card um, spread. Right. And the reason why it would come out that way, one, because it would give the idea, the shape of an unk, number one, you know, the, the divine union of it all, the whole self and someone else. Um, but it gave us direction as well. So let's see. We've got as soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, come through, come on, in the dark corners. She in a cave right here. The light behind her. She don't even realize that's her. Right. The space has been made conducive for her to know that. As soon as you can see, and not just see, it says as soon as you choose to see, which means you're here with the rebirthing for a reason. I'm reminding you of a thing. I'm not giving you something you ain't already come through here with. I ain't offering you something that I'm privy to that you're not. I am simply a vessel to remind you of something you have forgotten. Re-implies that it was already yours. Y'all already know what it's hitting for. That means I'm not asking for this shit. It was already mine. I'm just coming to collect, pick it up. You don't have to ask for this. There's no shame here, say spirit. You understand? Somebody needs to know that whatever it is that is the beauty of your life, there is something so beautiful for you. But every time you get close to it, for some reason, spirit say, it's almost like a, a level of shame come for you. So it's like you stuck in the 9, 10 energy, meaning I know fulfillment is here because it's 10, but I'm afraid to let something die in order for real life to really be born. And I come to tell you, if you round here for rebirthing, something is going to die for something to be reborn because who you have thought of yourself to be thus far who you thought others and experiences to be thus far have not been aligned to your true self. It is when you open yourself up to understand that something has to go. And if it's got to go, then it meant me no good. And let's say it was something that meant you good for such a time, but perhaps not in this place in which you have elevated to. And you can't feel shameful for elevating and others not doing the same, you see. Ooh. Spirit come through. Spirit said, that's why I'm talking to you about self-pleasure somebody. This is a divine feminine word, but it feels real masculine in its, I need you to move to get it done. Because as soon as I choose to see the light, meaning you got to put forth that masculine effort of your own productivity of saying, I choose to open my eyes, my real eye to the light for real. In all these dark corners, because then I can redirect my power toward what I want. Nothing's in control of me. Come around here, mermaid energy, lotus energy. I release time. Woo! And let the universe show me what to do. If that ain't divine feminine energy, honey, I don't know what is. I feel real Oshun in the building, because shit is really getting real honey ooey gooey right around here. Said, so I release time. <laughs> If you can't stand in your power, divine feminine, knowing that you are the one who releases time, right? Because you are the birth bearer. Come through somebody. 
right? So you release time when you've chosen to open your eyes to see the light within yourself. Yeah, look at her. She's literally touching right at her chest where the heart chakra coming through. Something is blossoming and blooming and everything is illuminating towards and from you. You are the well now. You release time back unto the universe, right? And it shows you exactly what to do because you've recognized you're a piece and a part of the whole. Somebody. It ain't a person making you complete and whole. You found it in yourself and the longing. And somebody needs to let go of the shame of that. That if I am longing for something outside myself, I'm going to alter what I have built within myself. I, I, I say somebody release a thing, say spirit. Woo! Divine feminine energy said it's the release of time. Ain't no time frame on this. It don't matter what your age is. Whatever it is that you're seeing in them dark corners, whatever that shame is coming up, spirit wants somebody to know you're deserving of a thing. Fuck you mean around here. Somebody needs to let go of the shame that you can't because others around you or who you came up with are not. She right here is dedicated to her own heart chakra work and in that letting go of time, maybe memories, maybe what I feel like is wasted time if I let this experience go now uh, or is it worth my time? So... I don't want to move too much, right? I don't want to cause too much of a ruckus. But as you can see, as her releasing and surrender to the heart chakra and the desires of my heart sends out palpitating energy, which causes others and the real tribe that should be around you and the real things aligned unto your greatness to fall unto you. It says, and then the universe will show me what to do. It says, I let the universe catch up with my dreams. <laughs> said the cards had to switch real quick it says i let the universe catch up with my dreams meaning i'm putting them all out and look what's the pillar card say with all this purple and all this crown it says manifesting hello somebody it is a creative process of aligning the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world you ain't got to worry about whether or not somebody's gonna make it in you don't have to worry about whether or not you put in all you needed to put in. Spirit wants somebody to understand whatever it is that you're going through. Whatever the desire is that you are always amounting to dream up to or to manifest in the depths of your soul. Somebody is feeling some shame around something. Either shame because I don't deserve this thing. Or shame because I don't want to leave nobody behind. I'll sit stagnant until they're able to grow. Regardless of how long I've been waiting for them to, I'll continue here in the in the darkness of a thing. Spirit said, as soon as you choose to see the light, it ain't no darkness that you can't open your light and your eyes unto to see the light because you are the light bearer. You understand? You got to choose to open your eyes. It ain't a matter of nobody keeping them closed or no nothing. You understand? She right here is holding on to her own self. We, we were talking about self-pleasure. She is also around here with her eyes closed. Her eyes ain't open. Y'all, these fucking nails. And spirit is moving. I don't got time. Okay? She's got her eyes closed. Do you understand? This is a surrendered space because I ain't got to worry about. Didn't we talk about that before? Divine masculine had already made the space conducive because I don't have time to watch and make sure that ain't nobody coming to devour me or hurt me. That means the people and the places and experiences that are coming unto you right now say, Spirit, come through and prophesy a thing, Zion, like you speaking to your real children for real then. If y'all don't understand what Spirit is doing right now, yo, like it's a thing, it's a thing, it's a thing right now. Spirit said, this is unto you, somebody. Open your eyes. I say, I say to the ancestors, somebody. Accept it, y'all. It's yours. And spirit, before we go, I just pray many blessings upon whoever needs to release the shame right now. Maybe we'll run the frequency bowl as we go out, like the dorji bell, like it's all things powerful out here. I want y'all to understand that we are washing away any shame of any reason in which it came in. Spirit, we ask that you cast it aside, never to return again. These are your divine people who have put in work to heal and they need to understand they are deserving of this thing. 
Let no shame keep them bound as the frequency goes out. Let it rain in their hearts from their root chakra all the way up to your access universe where you are able to catch up to the very dreams and the visions that have been put forth. Love on yourself, somebody. Put the shame away. You growing will allow others, just like this card here, to flow right into the well that is you, that you feel like if you expand and release it all, that nothing will return to you. You are the vessel from where it all comes from. They have to come back to love in order to re-up. <laughs> you are the one. <laughs> okay? If you know, then you know. Somebody need to re-up. <laughs> and you're re-ing up on love. Get into it. <laughs> Ashe.